do you think that Kyle Shanahan will double the reps and have double long practices, like basically have a full a full practice uh, for Trey and a full practice for Jimmy Garoppolo, or will they have to split him? I think he's gonna. I think he's going to split them, but it might it might result in. Um, other individuals getting more reps than normally yeah. anticipated. Um, yeah, and that's one of the down. That's one of the downsides. Uh, I mean, I don't know in practice if you're trying to look at quarterbacks evenly, right? You want to give them the same personnel so you can judge them properly. You know, if, if you know uh, having Ayuk out there schooling people, you know, versus having um, I don't know uh, Trent Taylor, who's not on the roster, but his example. You know, the, you want to give them the same. You want to give. You want to keep everything the same. Keep and then, and then the different. Would, the difference would be the quarterback, so that you can really compare and contrast. Um, yeah, and Lurie can do that out there with the same personnel. So those guys are going to play more. Probably. So he, the question he's asking, like, what does a quarterback competition look like? It's just they're splitting first team reps, as opposed to usually it's the starter gets all the first team reps because they're preparing him for the the regular season, and the backup gets the backup reps, and there's not as many there's going to be an even split. Sometimes Jimmy Garoppolo playing with the starter, sometimes Trey Lance. And the point is it, it, it most likely is going to mean more work for the rest of the starters, right? More running, more work. They have to give I would think so. Trey Lance the same looks they gave Jimmy Garoppolo. Right. And not only this, the starters for the offense and the defense, right? Or, or whoever, yes. whoever's out there, like, you, you know, you don't want to shorten that, shorten the stick on the end, on the other end too. You don't want to like, you know, if, if you're going against Jason Verrett and and then now it's all of a sudden you're you stick out more, obviously right. Verrett's better. If Jimmy Garoppolo goes against Jason Verrett all day and Trey Lance is only going yeah. against Dante Johnson, that's not a fair quarterback competition. Right. So it seems to me that you have this it's ironic. You you're trying to practice less. You're trying to this team gets keeps having injuries in practice. You're trying to do less, make it more leisurely, get to the season in one piece. But now Debo has to run more routes. The routes he runs for Jimmy, he has to run for <laughs> Trey. Uh, same with Brandon Ayuk. And these are two guys who have soft tissue injury history problems. So what is this quarterback competition going to do to Brandon Ayuk, George Kittle, Debo Samuel in practice in preseason? It's going to be a lot of work. Yeah, it's going to be more. It's going to be more work. And and that go and that falls right back into like making. The team has to believe that Trey Lance that Trey Lance gives them the best opportunity or or can or is, has a lot of potential, right? Because you're putting in all this extra work. Like, why am I gonna? Why am I doing this? Like, what if Jimmy? Right. Like, Jimmy's so much better. Why am I? Why am I doing this? Like, this right. is this is crazy. Um, and then it, it goes it goes hand in hand with some of the injury stuff we were talking about before because it seems like one of the solutions should be uh, less intensity, um, less less work, and then now you're putting more work on their plate. Yeah, it's what you don't want it. So it's interesting. It's like, why do teams not do quarterback competitions more often? You really don't hear of straight 50-50 quarterback competitions. It's not enough time. There's not enough reps. You are trying to prepare a starting quarterback for the season. And now whoever the nine, whoever wins this competition is going to be half as prepared as Matt Stafford, Kyler Murray, yeah. Russell Wilson. You know what I'm saying? Like every team in the league that's not doing this has that implied leg up on the Niners because let's say Trey Lance wins it. He wins the quarterback competition, but he got less reps in camp than every other starting quarterback in the division. That's rough. So, so what can you really ask him to do week one? Same for Jimmy. Yeah. It's, it's part of the reason also like why teams don't, don't use two quarterbacks, just don't use two quarterbacks. You know, it's like whenever you hear, Oh, if you have two quarterbacks, you don't have any like, well, it's one of the reasons, right? Because if if you're if you're practicing two quarterbacks to get two quarterbacks in the game, they're not getting 100 percent of the reps. They're getting 50-50. So it seems to me that since there's no, you can't avoid working your players more. They're all everyone on this team is going to have to work harder because it's a quarterback competition to figure out who the best quarterback is. Everyone has to work harder in camp. And if that's the case, then Kyle has no choice but to lengthen practices and give more water breaks and uh, slow it down because there's a, there's a ton of reps they have to do. Have yeah. to. He should. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't mean he will. Um, I'm just we're letting them know on on June 25th, man. We, we we we've thought this through. 
Uh, the logistics call for more reps. Your team has struggles with the amount of reps they're given already in a 90 minute practice. You need to lengthen this out. Otherwise, when people go down, everyone's going to know why and everyone's going to point yeah. the finger at you. Yeah. Even your biggest supporters.